Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my friends all across the globe today, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm sure so many of you guys, in fact, over 500, maybe even 600 of you guys, were watching the Planet Zoo Special Spa Day livestream. Uh, I always have to say, gotta love Elton and gotta love Fran for always keeping this stuff always so fun. Uh, and today was a really awesome stream with them. Uh, really adorable. They had the little hot tub set up. It was wicked cute. But I know so many of you guys are here for what the DLC entails. So today, I'm pretty sure we're getting a South America animal pack. Uh, writing's kind of on the walls about it. Uh, and we have a lot of stuff to unpack from this very specific stream. So they started off by playing some Pictionary in the middle of it. And we're going to dive into some of the stuff that they kind of threw up there. And we're going to kind of dissect and see what may fit where. Now, the first thing that Elton and did draw, thanks to their wonderful art degree, is the spectacles. Or rather, the glasses. Now, there are quite a number of animals who have the name Spectacled in the name. Uh, it could either be the Spectacled Longer, which is found in Southeast Asia, but there are two animals in South America that have that name. Those being the Spectacled Cayman and what I believe would be the Spectacled Bear. I think the Spectacled Bear would be a wonderful pick for this supposedly South America animal pack. It is a wonderful, wonderful carnivore and would make a wonderful representative of the only bear to live in South America. I think this is probably what it's gonna be, but we also have the Spectacled Cayman on the table. This one is related to the Cuvier Swarf Cayman, so I'm not really too sure about it, but it'd be a really cool one to have nonetheless. You know, I'm always here for like, you know, clone animals if that makes sense not really because i'm sure frontier would nail it in that department of making it look so unique especially nailing what makes the spectacled caiman look so different from the rest of the ribble rabble moving on from there we had fran draw a tooth or rather teeth in one part but rather a tooth specifically now i know a lot of people are thinking yeah the uh you know a caiman or a crocodile would have teeth but i kind of went over and beyond. I think we may be getting a two-toed sloth. Now, Leaf, how the hell could you even get that out of there? Tooth-toed, two-toed, tooth-toed, tooth-tooth. Um, yeah, I'm not having a stroke live on the video. I'm just saying what I'm thinking. I really think they're trying to stretch the bill and get us a two-toed sloth. I feel like that'd be a wonderful animal to have, and I feel like Frontier would nail it with that. But moving on from there, we also saw Elton in and Fran draw the crocodile. And they mentioned several times it was a crocodile. Originally, we were all thinking, like, you know, it's probably the spectacled caiman. That's probably going to be what it's going to be. But as more people kept on talking in the chat, more people started to say Orinoco crocodile. Cuban crocodile. Now, I really think we may be getting the Orinoco crocodile, and I am not upset about that in the slightest. I think that's going to be a really awesome thing to have, just because I really do freaking love the reptiles in the game. They always do such a good job at it, and they do such a good job that, like, modders can't even touch it when it comes to all that stuff. Now, we also saw the shower get drawn. That one was a little bit weird, but I think that's just gonna, you know, more so affect, like, you know, the rain, maybe, like, that whole spa day element. But what you guys are really concerned about, the capybara. Elton and Drew, probably one of the best capybaras that I've ever seen in my entire life, and I really do think that we are going to get this guy, because otherwise, Frontier would have a very angry mob right at their door. <laughs> but no, I really do think that the capybara would be a wonderful headliner for this. Very much how the beaver was a cute little headliner as well, but the capybara is what the community has wanted for so long. It's what the community has practically been begging for since the game came out and i think they're gonna have a nice little time in that little hot spring enrichment but what do you guys think since we're on this topic do you think we're still getting a south america animal pack or do you think this could be a rainforest pack you guys let me know in the comments down below as always you let me know your guesses but i am so excited to see what's gonna happen with all this thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video in case if you guys are already subscribed it's free and you guys get to stay up to date on all the latest planet zoo news 
you get to stay up to date on all the latest content released for the game, and hey, you get some nice builds made by me throughout this. So all that being said, I do want to thank you guys one last time, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.